Oh, Cheers. thank you. I've had two hours sleep. <laughs> two hours sleep? Yeah. What have you been up to? Should I not ask? Hi, I'm Lizzie Cundy, and I'm here at the Tesco Mum of the Year. And you know what? No one's more special than your mum. And we're going to go and talk to some, and some amazing celebrities too. Follow me. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing Kelly Ewing. Reunion. What's it like being back with the band? I mean, have you all changed a bit because you've got families and grown up a bit? I think everybody has grown up, but everyone is in a better place now and we're taking it not as serious. Do you think after the tour that you might be going on and, and sticking together with the group and doing more stuff together? Um, I don't think so. I think that we'll probably do gigs, um, but I don't think we'll be creating new music. Because you're a mum, Helen. How do you cope work being a mum and working hard in early mornings? It's not too bad. I've got great kids, but you know, when you look at some of the stories today, I mean, Claire Lomas is paralysed from the waist down and has a two-year-old daughter and is not only managing to be an amazing mum but walked the marathon in 16 days in a bionic suit and is about to cycle yes. across Britain 400 miles using a hand cycle. I mean, you know, incredible. My, my life's not hard next to no. that. Liz, you love my dresses, don't you? I adore your dresses. And you look brilliant. I've even named, can I just say, I've even named one of my dresses, Lizzie. <laughs> do you think you're going to now concentrate on the gymnastics more and all what you do? Because I know you do a lot of charity work and stuff rather than the, the media. Well, stuff. I've got lots that I want to kind of set up because yeah. You know, the gymnastics life is very short yes. and it's kind of what happens after gym. Yes. So I, I want to set things up for the future, my children's future and Aww. things like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm in the process of, of uh, setting up businesses and things like that. I'm not wearing a dress, but... No, but that outfit is superb. Where is this from? It's a Dolce & Gabbana. And everyone's going mad about the bag. It's a Balenciaga bag I bought in the sale. Weighs a ton, because today I've got tissues, Nurofen, waterproof mascara, two different phones, like one that. for tweeting and Instagramming. And I hear you've got a little fantastic I, news to tell me. As of today, the professionals from Dancing on Ice will be on the road. Um, I am directing a show called The Professionals on Ice that opens in Nottingham on April 27th. You've heard it here first. Congratulations, because I hear you've got a very prestigious award that's right I did I have been made a CBE which is like up there what do you think is there wedding bells with you and David what do we think am I gonna get an invite to this wedding do you know what I'd love you to come to the wedding you ain't proposed yet it's got proposed Liz <laughs> Hurry up. You love for your wife. I Thank loved you. it. Do you think you'll be doing the sequel to it? or? I what? don't know. I don't know because I don't think it's been a massive hit at the box office, clearly. So I don't know if they will do a sequel. I don't really mind well, because the thing for great. me is I actually really enjoyed it. Yes. And I think whatever job you do, as long as you have a great time, it doesn't matter what people say or think. So okay. for me, I, I had the best time ever and I made some really good friends on that film. I hear congratulations are in order. Yeah. Thank you. Just recently, yeah. yeah. It's about time, though, I guess, isn't it? It's about yeah. time. Well, how did you propose, um, Shane? I did this most outrageous thing and got down on one knee. It's crazy. What's happening at the moment for you guys? Well, we've just come back to London, actually, to start preparations for the upcoming tour with Catherine Jenkins throughout the UK and Europe. And what are the women like? Do they all go mad and throw their pants on stage for you? Oh, the women are lovely. I just can't have enough women surrounding us. Well, that's just about it from me. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Lizzie Cundy. See you next time.